Good evening, everyone. I'm Jen Holloway. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let's get right to that breaking news. Pinned under a truck for an hour. Right now, a Hillsborough County motorcycle deputy is in the hospital. He had to be rescued after a major crash on Gibsonton Drive. Several others are also in the hospital tonight. Let's go right to News Channel H. Josh Thomas. He is live at the scene for us. And Josh, do you have any new details about what might have triggered all of this? Well, let me start off very first by telling you that Gibsonton Drive, which had been closed for more than an hour, is now open to traffic. As you can see behind me here, investigators were basically had it shut down so that they could piece together everything that happened here. Now, it does appear that the driver of a flatbed truck basically caused this accident by basically running into several vehicles, including a Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputy. Four people ended up being injured as a result of this accident. Now, the accident happened this afternoon here along Gibsonton Drive, right around 1 o'clock near the I-75 exit, which was shut down for several hours. One law enforcement officer called it a horrific accident scene. Now, several vehicles, along with the motorcycle deputy, were stopped at a red light when investigators tell us that that flatbed truck came barreling over the hill and plowed into the deputy. The deputy is a nine-year veteran with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. He has been identified as 37-year-old Tim Berg. We're also told that, quite frankly, he was uh, uh, basically uh, being involved. Uh, once he was involved in this accident, he was pinned under the vehicle for close to an hour before he was able to be freed and taken to Tampa General Hospital. This is a horrific traffic crash. Uh, Deputy Berg uh, uh, was, was injured pretty severely uh, from this. Uh, he is in tip-top shape, and, and we contribute that uh, to, to uh, helping him survive, at least here at the scene. Now, while we don't know the condi deputy's condition right now, we do know that he was conscious when he was taken from the scene and taken to Tampa General Hospital. Now, no charges have been filed in this accident, at least not yet, but there is a possibility that could happen. Back to you. Certainly more to learn on this one. And as you say, uh, Gibson Drive now back open. That's the good news. Thank you, Josh Thomas, reporting live for us tonight. And as he mentioned, that deputy injured in the crash was rushed to the emergency room at Tampa General Hospital. And that's where we find News Channel 8's Melanie Michael. So, Melanie, do we have any updates as to how he's doing this evening? We do. Good evening to you both. You know, at this hour, we have been monitoring the situation all evening, and we can tell you the deputy is receiving treatment right now, and he is surrounded by fellow deputies. We were there as they arrived to support their friend. They rushed to the hospital as soon as they got the news. They're known as the motor unit at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, a tight-knit group of 27 deputies. Friends and colleagues of 37-year-old Deputy Tim Berg gathered at Tampa General Hospital to support him during this time of crisis. The hospital confirms that the nine-year veteran from the Sheriff's Office is being treated at this hour. A helicopter was waiting for Deputy Berg at Gibsonton Elementary near the crash scene, ready for transport to downtown Tampa. The Sheriff's Office confirms that he was in pain, but he was conscious during the short chopper ride to the ER. And that brings us up to date. Again, he is receiving treatment at this hour right here at TGH. And guys, this is a top-notch hospital, as you know. It is a level one trauma center. They get the most dire, crucial cases where every second counts. And you know that they're working very hard to make him comfortable and to save his life tonight. Keith and Jen, back to you. All right, it sounds like some encouraging news there anyway. Thank you. Melanie and Michael reporting live for us. Well,